Now, in this question is asking the total number of cis and MNCL bond angles that is MNN and MNCL bonds in the cis position present in the molecule of cis MN EN hole twice Cl2 complex is. So, we have to find out the total number of angles in the particular compound. For that we have to write or we have to draw the structure. So, the solution is now central atom is manganese and it is forming an octahedral complex and this is octahedral right ok. Now, since it is in cis form that is why the ethylene diamine will be like this. So, this ethylene diamine is attached and one more ethylene diamine ligand is attached to it. Now, what we have to search? We have to search that that angle should be 90 degree. Let us count all the angles. Let us number the atoms. This is at number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, let us count all the possible N MNCL bonds, right? So, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2 and 6, 2. With respect to that chlorine which is having the number 2, we have 4 nitrogen atoms, right? So, there are 4 angles and if we talk about the chlorine which is having the number 1, then the angles will be 6, 1, 5, 1, 4, 1 and 3, 1, right? Now, I am not taking 3 MN 1. It is obvious that it is 3 MN 1, ok? Now, we all know that if the angle between two ligands is 90 degree, then it is cis and if it is 180 degree, it will be trans. So, there are 8 possible angle which will be having nitrogen, manganese and chlorine. So, 1 and 4 means 1 mn 4, this is 180 degree, it is trans and there is one more this of this type and that is 5 mn 2. So, this angle and this angle, these two angles are of 180. So, we had 8 angles out of those 8 angles, 2 are at 180 means they are at the transposition. It means that we will have 6 N M N C L angles. So, our answer is 6. Therefore, we can write here it is equal to 6, right? Let us move on to the next question. Now, in this question is asking the amount of the water produced in grams in the oxidation of 1 mole of rhombic sulphur by concentrated HNO3 to a compound with the highest oxidation state of sulphur is. So, we have to fill that blank. Let us start the solution. And for solution, we have to write down the chemical equation which is involved, right? So, it is S8 plus 48 HNO3 and it will give us 8 H2SO4 plus 48 NO2 plus 16 H2O. 
right so this is a balanced chemical equation and we can see that from one mole of s8 this is one mole of s8 we are getting 16 moles of water so we will get 16 moles of water right so from here we can say that one mole of s8 corresponds to 16 moles of water right and we have to find the answer in grams that's why 16 into molar mass of water that is 18 that will be equal to 288 grams so this is the final answer and it will be 288 right so this is the correct option let's move on to the next question so in this question is asking total number of isomers considering both the structural and stereomers of the cyclic ethers with the molecular formula C4H8O is so we have to draw the structure because we don't have any formula to find out the number of isomers right we have to draw them so let's move on to the solution the possible options will be let's start with this so one carbon second carbon third carbon fourth carbon so this is the first option second option is means this is in the cis position right now next one is in the trans position so CS3 and CS3 and this is hydrogen hydrogen if you want to show this also like this so you can write like this okay and we can have one more structure and that will be this one CS3 and CS3 right so these four structures are possible with the three membered ring so let's move on to the four membered ring if we have four membered ring then what will happen oxygen and one methyl group right adjacent to oxygen second possibility is oxygen and one methyl group here right and if you go to the five membered ring then it will be like this only one possible structure this one so how many are these one two three four five six seven but there are seven isomers and he is saying that we have to consider the stereoisomers also therefore this is hydrogen and we can say that this carbon is chiral that's why it will have one dextro and one levo isomer will be there right now this one is optically inactive if you talk about this particular compound which is trans this is optically active we will have dextro and levo for this also and in this compound this carbon atom is also chiral and we will have dextro and levo for this also right so total number of isomers are 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 but we have three compounds in which optical isomerism is also possible therefore there will be total 7 plus 3 that is equal to 10 isomers 
therefore, it will be 10 right. Let us move on to the next question.